Greetings, Commanders! Welcome to the Rita video! Yeah, we're doing Rita! Again. I've already done a Rita video, but I had to redo it because it just needed to be redone. Um, Rita doesn't need a long video breakdown. Rita is a decent commander, not a super late game commander. Uh, definitely gets worse as the meta shifted from dodge heavy to a lot of guaranteed hit gems being available. So... Um, here it is. This is Rita. She is a infantry commander. Comes as a natural S-Class. She was the gift for Season 2 of the Galactic Battle, just for getting into the playoffs. And she plays a little bit like, um, a little bit like Plasma, but a little more dodge-centric. So, she has two major abilities that are different, right? She has a 20% called Avatar, and, uh, it's a stacking dodge buff. So, it's only a 20% skill. Uh, but it does give all of your troops 1% dodge per level. And at level 50 or 60, it's triggering this two or three times in a round could give you 150% dodge. That's a lot of dodge. Uh, unfortunately, most infantry should be running dodge pants and maybe avoid chest piece, which also provides a ton of dodge in a fair fight. I mean, you might wear the uh, Dark Knight chest piece in, a, in, a, in a, a fight you have an advantage, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how is she in the current meta against other players. Against monsters, she's just as good as anyone else. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I do recommend running a, a Devastation Helmet on her. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Eye of Abyss on this commander because her abilities, her second ability, is dependent on raw damage. So Huntmaster says that you got a 60% chance that uh, if you dodge, you automatically reposte the damage back to the attacker uh, for 1.5% of whatever level it is. So at 15, it's 22.5. At level 50, it's 75%. Um, at level 60, you reposte for 90% of your base attack. The problem with this is that you cannot crit on an ability. Not on this ability, anyway. Um, and crit damage does scale really nicely on most commanders late game. So once you have the Magiwell pants that have crit damage on, remember the only damage pants in the game are Magiwell. Uh, and it does get a lot higher than this. These, there you go, 170%, which is huge if you want a damage commander. But with Rita, you're not going to build her that way. You're going to build her dodge anyway. And so that, that limits her as a bust, one slot bust commander, commander against Rogers. Uh, so she's not great against Roger. She doesn't have any particularly great skill sets against Plasma. In a fair fight, she might whittle him down, but most Plasmas are smaller than main commanders, which is how you'd want to play a commander like this. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is how I build her, you know? A little bit of attack and accuracy. Maybe not Skywalker here, because she's not going to benefit much from crit damage. I mean, she's still going to crit on regular attacks, but since the crit damage doesn't apply to her second skill, her 60% skill, and that's what you want to gear towards, um, I don't think it's that great. So double Apocalypse or Devastation Helmet, and then rely on two double hit gems, or rely on Ares and Pisces and build her kind of dodge tanky. So dodge, dodge as much as you can. Hope that she gets off a few Ares and Pisces to surround, survive a round or two. Um, and if she makes it two or three rounds against any high level top twenty commander, uh, she's she's going to do okay. She's going to do well. She's going to start dodging. Pisces is going to start absorbing hits. Ares is going to start weakening the damage. She's going to start knocking down against uh, knocking them down with this Huntmaster. Uh, but she really suffers in a game right now in the game because of how uh, dominant the one slot bust formation is, how dominant Golem and Rogers are, how much more Stella brings to the table with her Wings of Eternity. Um, and, you know, she doesn't have the cool versatility like Hoodoo and um, Galileo or Blader or, or Bullet or Rock with their Ignore Tear Suppression. So I'm going to show you a fight for a level 20 monster and then wrap this video up. Oh, let's do her flavor text. Let's do her flavor text. Who is Rita? Uh, Rita believes that maintaining her looks is part of her job as a thief. Rumors swirl that some say some rich men allow Rita her escapades just to see her beautiful face. And Rita is always happy to oblige. So she's a thief, and she's a escort prostitute, and guys let her rob them just to spend time with her. Sweet. Great character animation too, right? She doesn't jiggle as much as she used to. Apparently that was patched up. Oh, there's a little jiggle. All right, let's go take a look at that video. Okay, so what we're looking for here is we want to show how much damage her base crit is, because I always crit, which is something that happens in the later game, maybe not in the early game, but infantry should always crit, so get your crit gear on. So uh, she does get a hunt master early on, uh, but we're not going to see the benefits of it until the second round. Uh, oh, I didn't get that damage. Let's get that damage on this next one. 
We can ignore the awakening. There's a Huntmaster again. All right, 664 crit. And uh, we're not using any bonus crit damage gear. So 664, 680. That's well within the range there. So. All right, now our skill is only level 15, so our damage is only going to be 22%, but it's not crit damage. So here it comes. Here comes the miss and the damage back from the riposte or the Huntmaster is 53k. All right, so here comes another one. Here comes another one. Four, 54,000. All right, so there it is. I mean, 54,000 instead of what my normal crit damage is, is 660,000. So uh, that skill is doing 22% of the base damage. So the base crit would have been um, more like 400k. I want to say 400k because when you crit, it goes up to 600k or 500k. Yeah, that's about right. So if my base non-crit damage was 500k, when I crit, um, it goes, I, when I, ugh. my base damage would be uh, about 400,000 if I'm critting for 664, because you get about 50% bonus damage on the crit. I think that's right. I should check with the Theorycraft guys on that. I'm pretty sure about it. But ultimately, the base damages were hitting for 664,000. So even if that skill was leveled up to 60, uh, you can multiply the damage you were seeing um, by 4. It was level 15. If you took it up to 60, multiply whatever damage we saw, which was 53k, it would now be 200,000. So instead of, um, I was melee hitting for 660,000, and if I was level 60 sk skill, I would be reposting for 200,000, only a third of my original hit. Now that's not terrible, right? But in order to get that bonus damage from that skill, uh, you have to survive a round and survive a not survive not getting hit by a guaranteed hit skill, and you have to kind of gear a little into dodge. And I just feel like even though it's a 60% skill, it's not one of the stronger ones. So when the dodge meta is strong and you know your opponent is not using a guaranteed hit commander, she has a good advantage there. But so many people run commanders with guaranteed hits now uh, that it's kind of uh, stupid not to not to run a guaranteed hit commander and, 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 and go to a commander like Rita because you you're going to run into uh, matchups you simply can't win against. Um, like Medusa. Someone as weak as Medusa would tear her apart. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's Rita. I hope you enjoyed that breakdown. There's not much else to it there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.